thank you so much for coming out. It's a real pleasure to have you both here uh, to talk about maths and The Simpsons and Futurama. I mentioned it, that, that you, you went to Harvard when you were only 16. So as a teenager, you were, you know, maths was your thing. I just have to think of, oh, maths. Math. Oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> You know, uh, when I was in college, I met someone who uh, you know, was on the Harvard Lampoon and encouraged me to go into writing. And so uh, my parents have been very frustrated and disappointed till now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference between the Harvard Lampoon and the National Lampoon, which was a, a, a national magazine, which we went into next. And then um, we uh, were lucky we got a job in Hollywood. And then when The Simpsons started, we got hired as the first two staff writers on the show. And... Um, and then we could put our secret math agenda into everything. <laughs> in math, you're always trying to find the perfect proof, the single answer to a series of questions. And in comedy, you're trying to find the perfect joke. And, um, you know, it, it may not seem similar at the beginning, but I, I really find the two processes very identical. Yeah, I mean, over here, um, we've got great comedians, people like Dara Brian, who did maths and theoretical physics at, uh, in Dublin, and, and people like Dave Gorman, who did maths at Manchester. And so it's, it's a something happens, happens over here as well. Uh, but, but David, you didn't go from the Harvard Lampoon into, into comedy writing, you, you carried on studying. Yeah, uh, I had a big crisis when I realized, oh, there's this business called show business that I had never heard of growing up. And uh, um, I thought, hmm, I could either try that and if it doesn't work out, I could go to graduate school or I could go to graduate school and if it doesn't work out, I could try to write. But I thought, well, if I go write first and it doesn't work, I'm gonna forget everything I know. So I decided to do it the other way. Went to UC Berkeley, studied theoretical computer science uh, for a few years with a scientist there, Manuel Blum. And I uh, got my master's degree in, uh, by writing a paper on pancake flipping, if you want to hear more about that later. Very interesting. I, I want to know more about it now. Uh, I can tell you a little bit about it. Here's the subject matter. Very mathematical, and it will also make you hungry. There's, uh, you have a stack of pancakes. They're all different sizes. And they're out of order, but you want them in the nice, neat, appetizing stack where the big one's on the bottom, smallest one on top. But the only way you can sort them is you stick a spatula in somewhere, lift the ones above it up, flip them over, and put them back down. So the question is, if you have N pancakes, uh, what, is the, the, what, is, what are the most or least flips that, it's gonna, that it can take you to uh, flip them in the worst case? So uh, uh, my advisor mentioned this problem, and I got just addicted to it. So I kind of did everything I could on that, and I thought, hmm, I have to start from scratch if I keep going. So that's when I took some time off and started writing. This rumor went around, Matt Green has got a new idea for a sci-fi cartoon, and he's looking for a writer. And I was like, oh, please, please pick me, because The Simpsons was in season nine, of course. So I felt like, I got to get off this sinking ship before it gets canceled. <laughs> so, um, so, uh, but as you can see, yes, I had firmly established myself as a math nerd. So Matt picked me to help him out with it. And, we just spent our spare time talking about science and sci-fi things that we liked and that we could steal and uh, eventually sold the show to Fox and went on from there. Thank you so much for coming along and thanks again to Al and, thanks to and you. David. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us.